special Friday because our dear friend Caitlin Chapel Rogers is joining us on a very exciting day. Caitlin, girl, it's podcast day. It's podcast launch day. So yes. exciting. So the podcast is out. It's out. For those who, who didn't tune in to the last time you were here, tell us again what this is, where we yeah. can find it, all the things. Yeah, you can find it anywhere you watch podcasts. So I always listen on Apple, but Spotify, all the places. It's called The Comeback Couch. So um, it's just raw stories from real people. Yeah. And um, the first three episodes, one is from me. It's just a story of, of mine. And then um, my friend Pri, she shares her testimony. Mm -hmm. And then Kevin, who owns La Toile here in Huntsville, the bakery. <gasps> yes. Y'all, if you don't know, if you've been to the bakery, like it's incredible. But if you don't know the story, you're, I mean, literally someone texted me and was like, my jaw is on the floor. Like no, it's the way I've it heard all a little bit yeah. of it. I've never spoken to him about it personally, but I've heard enough about it to, to know it is fantastic. It's, we won't yes. give any, away any secrets. No, you, you got to go, go listen. listen to Caitlin's podcast. Yeah, yeah. So exciting. Well, congratulations. Thanks. It's a big day. We know so many people um, just going to hear so many words of wisdom from you. Yeah. We hear words of wisdom from you every day. And today's oh, going to be no different. We're talking about something um, really interesting. I think, you know, just, just the power of words. Yeah, and definitely. The phrases that mm -hmm. we use, right? You say the phrase must be nice. Mm-hmm. Can say a lot about you. Um, yeah, and people in your life, right? Tell us your your outlook on this. Yeah, so I realized a couple years ago. I actually like started writing about this because I was like, I say must be nice all the time. Mm -hmm. Like I see someone go on a trip, or I see their house, or I see whatever in their life that I think, oh, that must be nice. Like it's not happening for me. And then you know those conversations where you're like. Oh, so and so is doing blah blah, and then you like look at your friend, and you're like, I mean, what do they do for a living? Like, how do right. they afford how is this that? Yeah, yeah, like there's no way they've got like really that happy. They feel like a they, secret yeah. fund somewhere. Or, yeah, like mm -hmm. they must be miserable, and yeah. it's like those stories, and like we've all done it. I mean, I've I've done it a million times, and it's like that's when you really start to get bitter, mm -hmm. and instead of a life full of faith, you you plant that seed of just like disgust and discontentment, and it grows and the roots go down and it's roots of bitterness. Mm -hmm. And so then you've got a tree with like some really gross fruit. That's how I think of it. Yeah. Instead of like, hey, that is so great for them and I'm happy for them. I don't know their full story. Who knows what's going on in the background? Mm -hmm. um, also, if that's what God gave them, that's what they deserve. Mm -hmm. But let me focus on like what I do have and what God has given me to use because then you'll realize that like, you are a must be nice for someone else in the world. That is so true. And if you really think about like where we live, like we all really are that for the majority yeah. of the world. Yeah, I've realized that so much more. I mean, even too, y'all, like it, it, we were, new, you were in news too. We both yeah. had a news background. Y'all, the stuff that we see sometimes, like Heartbreaking. If, you, if you have a parent at all, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you are so, like so much gratitude in that. Like I, there are things that we've seen and witnessed and you think, oh my goodness, like we have no idea no, right. sometimes. And that's so true that you are, someone's must, must be, be nice, nice for somebody. Yeah. I mean, again, just that level of gratitude. And, and on that note too, Caitlin, I mean, again, I think like we were saying, just the power of words, I think we don't yes. realize the effect that that has on our mental state, the effect that it has on other people. Like, I feel like if someone said that to me, like must be nice, I'd be like, uh, do you hate me? Like, are we friends? <laughs> Do you okay? hate me? What are you I doing? Remember, I remember um, in college, and again, just going back to the power of words and phrases, I had a phrase that I decided I was going to eliminate from my vocabulary is I had friends sometimes would say, hey, we're going to go do this. You can join if you want. And that might not see, no. I don't know if I was being hypersensitive. No, I've like actually think, read like, this before. Do you like, want me to come? Or, and so now I feel like I'm really intentional with like, Hey, hey, please some come. Some of us are doing this. I want you there. You know, like, yes. please come, please join. Because again, those words and our phrases that we use so powerful for not only our mental state, but the people around us. And you throw them out. You don't think about it. And yeah. it does. It starts to like affect you or affect people around you. And when I realized I was saying that so often, like mostly to my husband and he's, he doesn't, he doesn't think like that. Like we think very different. He's so chill. Yeah. He could literally like live anywhere, do anything. He's so content. Yeah. But I've struggled with that discontentment. And I, I was like, this is gross. Like no one wants to hear me say that all the time. And every time I say it, I'm hurting myself. Mm -hmm. Like I'm pulling, pulling like negative energy into my own mind and my own life when like they don't know I'm saying it. Like, what's the yeah. point of this? Instead of being like truly happy. And even if like you can't get to that happiness part, like truly trusting that like what God has for them, he has for them and what he has for me, he has for mm -hmm. me. And that's what needs to be. And I can be content in knowing I don't get to make that decision. Thank goodness. Absolutely. So yeah. are there certain things that you kind of remind yourself? I know sometimes for me, I kind of go through this checklist of like, 
I have parents, I have friends, yeah. I have a house. I took a hot shower this morning, a hot shower with running water. Like when I tell you- For there as long as I wanted. don't have running water, like that, hard to imagine, but that's so true. Are there things that you kind of have to tell yourself, this is what I have today and I'm gonna focus on that? Absolutely, I always tell, I always say this when people ask me this question and it seems so silly. When I'm having one of those days, I will walk through my kitchen and I'll look at my Keurig. And I'm like, mm -hmm. thank you, I have a Thanks. Keurig. I have, I can press a button and get coffee. Praise like, God. and it's just walking around and seeing things like that, the people in your life and saying, okay, this is, I'm content with this because it's, be these are beautiful yeah, blessings. Little things, even yes. little blessings. Like yes. God is grateful for our prayers on that. And I think too, you know, we realize again more, about, sometimes when we, look back on, on where we came from. I know you've got a great story. Yes. I think about my grandmother. My grandmother had an outhouse, you guys. Yeah. Like went to the bathroom outside. Outside. And I just think about that. I'm like, yeah. what in the world? So, so grateful that, yeah, if we, if you have a Keurig, if you took a hot shower, if mm. you have a parent a or bed. a child or anybody, like yeah. so much gratitude in that. And, and again, you are someone's must be nice. And yes. that's going to be my, my new outlook. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank As you. always, guys, I feel like we should charge her for our therapy, don't you think? <laughs> we love you. Caitlin, congratulations again. Podcast day. Tell us again one more time yeah. for people that weren't fully locked in when we first started. <laughs> where can we listen and follow along? Yes, go to wherever you get podcasts. Apple's where I get mine. It's called The Comeback Couch. Um, I am back on Instagram after a break at Caitlin Chapel Rogers. And then be sure to sign up at CaitlinChapelRogers.com. Doing a huge podcast launch day giveaway just for the email subscribers today. Ooh, so the inside scoop for yes. email subscribers. Yes. Caitlin Girl, congratulations again. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again in a few Fridays. Bye. Bye. We'll be right back.